We're out here in the beautiful Rocky Mountains of Alberta, Canada, and we just wanted to give you a quick overview of the construction of our Arcto Camper. Everything rests upon our engineered laser cut formed C channel that we actually have pot dip galvanized, which gives a life expectancy of the chassis for approximately 75 years. At the front, we have our max coupler articulating hitch. Underneath the chassis is covered in aluminum belly pan, which protects against rocks and debris while towing. The body of our trailer is constructed with FRP composite structural sandwich panels, uh, which are extremely strong, and extremely light all of which are surrounded with aluminum uh, laser cut form channel and the three millimeter thick powder coated diamond plate at the front again to protect against rocks and debris. Just want to give you an in-depth walkthrough of our Arcto Campers outdoor kitchen. When we were designing this trailer, it was really important to us to ensure that our customers had a fully functional outdoor cooking area, which means that everything they needed was within arm's reach. Most importantly, the average customer will then no longer need to bring extra totes or bins to store some of their areas which are taking up precious space in their cargo areas of their trailer or within their tow vehicles. One of the main ways we accomplish this is with our large outdoor pantry, which is just under 10 cubic feet in storage space. And inside the pantry is our water tank monitor volt meter, six USB ports and 110 volt plugs that are powered by our 2000 watt inverter that comes standard with the trailer. Just below the pantry is our slide out stainless steel kitchen. This comes with a large fold out countertop, dual burner stove, cold water and hot water on demand, stainless steel storage rack, towel drying rack, spice drawer, and a large cutlery drawer as well. Just next to the slide out kitchen is our fold down table or prep deck, because you can never have too much prep area. Uh, and just to the right over here is our slide out lockable tray that houses our 12 volt dual zone 65 liter fridge and freezer combo. Uh, left and right side can be fridge or freezer, it doesn't really matter, you can switch between the two. Just notice that I'm standing underneath uh, an Overland Vehicle Systems 270 degree awning. This comes standard with all of our Arcto campers and of course will protect you in any rain uh, or storms that might be happening while you're cooking. Moving along into our storage, we have a very large six foot deep tongue box storage. Up front, propane storage area for a 20 pound propane bottle, more storage, indoor and outdoor accessible porta potty, 30 amp shore power plug, solar plug, fresh water supply, all sitting on top of 265 7017 all terrain tires with Timbrens axleless off road suspension. Over here, we have our Truma Combi Eco hot water tank and furnace all in one system. Even more storage. Overland vehicle systems, shower enclosure with access to the shower, head and faucet. give you a quick tour of the inside of our trailer. Come on inside. First thing you're going to see when you enter the trailer is our very simple uh, control panel and light switches. Uh, this controls water pump, porch lights, interior light. Uh, there's battery monitor, solar charge control monitor and display, as well as the inverter on off switch. And just above the countertop here, also a stereo control, uh, USBs, 12 volt cigarette lighter, and 110 volt plugs powered by our 2000 watt inverter that's included in the trailer. Inside is approximately 12 feet long and just under seven feet wide. And with the pop top roof extended, this gives an interior height of six foot seven. 
I'm six foot three, and as you can see, plenty of space for me to walk around inside here. Just above my head is the Max Fan 10 speed roof vent, uh, and next to it is our LED lighting. Uh, we designed the camper to have as much interior storage as possible for all your personal belongings. So as you can see, starting at the front here, we have these four upper cabinets that are quite large for everything you might need inside there. You know, you can see I can reach right to the back. And just below, three 22 inch deep drawers. Again, lots of space. Uh, to the right of me is also a wardrobe just beneath the bed as well as a shoe cubby beneath to store your muddy boots. And behind me is the window to the trailer. This is a dual pane acrylic window that fully extends and opens, also functions as emergency egress if, if needed. Pull down blackout shades and a bug screen, both of which connect to one another with magnets, quite handy. I'm sitting on top of our six foot long, 30 inch wide bench. This can fun function as a sleeping area for a third person if needed, uh, including an adult uh, being that long. So no problem sleeping here. Uh, and attached to it here is our Lagoon swiveling table. This affords uh, plenty of space here to eat for two to three people. Uh, the table is fully removable. So if you wanted to stow it, uh, you can put that away to allow for more space in here if you're uh, not wanting to eat inside. Uh, underneath me here is actually a uh, indoor and outdoor accessible porta flush. So if the weather's bad and you want to use it in the middle of the night while inside, that's fine. Uh, otherwise, you can pull it out through the access panel at the rear and place it outside wherever you'd like, uh, possibly inside the Overland Vehicle Systems uh, shower enclosure that we include with the trailer. Uh, just to the right of the bench is our control panel for the Truma furnace and hot water tank. And just to the left, another seat here with storage as well underneath. And just beside me again is our elevated uh, residential queen mattress. That's the full 60 inches wide, 80 inches long. And this also uh, has a large lengthwise cubby at the back, which includes a USB port there for the person sleeping on the far side, uh, another USB port on the right side uh, for whoever might be sleeping on the near side and reading lamps for both people. So there you have it. There's the interior of our Arcto camper. 